Hey guys, Joe Yuhan here, talking about an important stride concept that I call high heel recovery. So in the efficient state, what we want to have above all else is something that I call a center of propulsion that's behind. So propulsion is, okay, well, what are the legs doing to get us to move? And in general, what we want to have happen is that we want the hips to be that propulsive force where the hip flexes or drives forward, and that's signified by the thigh or the knee going forward, and then that hip at this joint taking that thigh and that leg behind. If the hip doesn't do that, there's a tendency to propel by bouncing, and it's the quads and the calves and the hamstrings that will kind of get us bouncing down the road. But in reality, what we want to have in the efficient state is the hip to do that in a cyclical fashion so that you get this upward driving, you get the downward pulling, and that's paw back that we've talked about, and then back up again. And if you watch my foot, if I do this in slow motion, I've got this upward drive, the foot pulls underneath, and then it kind of winds up again here. Heel recovery is referred to what happens when you're here, how you get to here. And a high heel recovery has to do with this here. So if we talk about what's less efficient, a lot of people, including um, marathon or trail ultra runners, will have a low heel recovery. And that has to do with a leg that stays long and low throughout. And there's a lot of different reasons why that happens. The demands of the distance and the terrain makes it hard to be here. Even though the efficient state for our bodies for best energy and for the least amount of stress is in this area, it's just hard to do. But nevertheless, we get down in this low swinging arc, and that low heel recovery is a long lever, a stressful lever, um, and an inefficient lever. And one of the things that I, with my own running, keep coming back to is this idea of taking this propulsive cycle and making sure it's behind. And I like to think of this idea as like the Roadrunner cartoon. If you see the Roadrunner cartoon, it's his body is here, and that spinning circle is back here. When that fails to happen, very often we get what I call hungry, hungry hippo stride, which is that old 70s or 80s board game where the hippo mouth is basically doing this. So you may have the circle and you may be lifting your knee plenty good, but if you're up here, that's a lot of wasted energy because that foot lands in front and you fail to really powerfully finish the stride behind. So where high heel recovery comes in is it's the idea of helping, okay, you have extended, but the high heel recovery makes it easier to then lift and then get that foot back down again. So in essence, okay, you do your nice paw back like you've all been training to do, but then having a little bit of extra effort to kind of curl that foot underneath you is more likely to then get the foot down because it's equal and opposite reactions for every action, right? So if you're gonna go up, the foot will go down. If all you do is go back, that foot's gonna go forward. So I want you guys to think about this this idea of high heel recovery. And there's this great video, I've shown a lot of you guys this before, and it's Alberto Salazar in a coaching session with Galen Rupp, and he really demonstrates this well. It's like you want it here. You don't want this where you're landing in front. It needs to feel like everything in your stride is occurring behind you. So paw back pull, recovery underneath here. It's going to feel like a little bit of extra energy, but like everything else, that little drop of extra is going to get you a pint or a quart or a gallon more of efficiency. So try that. One of the best things you can do to check this out is besides filming yourself and showing me, um, run down, you know, uh, downtown, you know, windows and just look at your reflection. Number one, are you tall and forward? Number two, do you see that center of propulsion back here? Do you see that that foot's getting here or are you kind of low and long swinging like a lot of us do? So that's high heel recovery. It makes a really nice adjunct to your paw back. 
it's going to get more spring in your step, better extension, and it's going to limit that overstriding. So give that high heel recovery a try.